Slime and Slay Monthly Tip. Monthly tip time, monthly tip time. Well guys, welcome back to another monthly tip here from Slime and Slay Outdoors. Today I'm going to be going over something very basic, but uh, something that's very important into fishing. I do all musky fishing, this is going to be for musky fishing. Um, I'm going to be showing you some of the right uh, release tools that you should have on board. I've seen a lot of people here mishandle fish and stuff like that in the past. Um, and here's some of the release tools that I use that I keep on board all the time. First off, hookouts. Um, I keep many pairs. Everything I have is I keep always a backup set. This is very uh, crucial. I can reach in in the net a lot of times and just quick pop it off um, if it's not hooked real deep. Um, or I can even get in if I need to. But pair of hookouts, uh, very you uh, very essential to have on board. Um, very cheap. I don't know. I think around eight dollars to have a pair like this. I, like I said, I keep multiple extra pairs of all of this that I'm going to run through. Hookouts number one. Second on the item, of course, pliers. Here's a long set of pliers here. Can reach way in if need to be. Very long set. And of course, just a standard little guy. Um, use them almost all the time when you get a fish. Um, like I said, big to get inside if need to be. And also this. Third on the list is, mo to me, one of the most important things in musky fishing, hook cutters. Again, two pairs here, um, always have a backup set, but these are mo my uh, favorite tool to use if need to be. Hooks are cheap, fish are not. Always snip the hook if it's deep. Anything that you think that you can't get it out, don't, don't play around. Cut the hook, get the fish back in the net, let it revive a little bit, get your photo, release it. Number four, sometimes it seems like muskies, you don't need these as much. It seems like they open their mouth good, but for pike, and of course you do might need them for muskies is a pair of jaw spreaders. Um, don't use them again a lot for muskies, but pike all the time seems like they want to clamp down. Muskies do actually want to open up their mouth, but always need jaw spreaders. Number five for release tools. Might seem silly, but I keep a release gov, keep all the time on, uh, on board. Um, I don't want my hands to get cut up as much as they are already cut up from just reeling and casting all the time. I've got dry skin all the time. Um, Release gov, a big essential to me. Hold that fish up, don't get the gill rakes. And uh, yeah, big, big tool right here. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up here. Again, a very uh, important video in my opinion into all fishing. I mean, everybody focuses on baits and rods and all that stuff. To me, if you get a fish on, even if you get one, uh, you gotta get it unhooked. And with these big animals um, thrashing around the net, dangerous hooks, you don't want anything in your hands. Um, release tools are very key into fishing. Hopefully this monthly tip helps you if you're a starter out musky fisherman or just even advance just kind of see what I use for uh, release tools. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll catch you on the next monthly tip.